That's a perfect example of he was having a mild heart attack standing up here. Uh, I kind of go through the same thing. Uh, I introduce myself. My name is Justin. I, I grew up in uh, Grand Falls, Windsor. Is there anyone here from Grand Falls, Windsor? <laughs> yes! Oh, wow. Crash and burn. So, my other story. No, I, I grew up and uh, it might be the pressures that we all go through. I grew up, I was bullied a little bit, or <laughs> I'm reducing that to something sensible. Uh, I, was, I was bullied a nice bit, and, I, and I, I didn't believe in myself. I always felt that there was something different about me. I never ever automatically followed along. I always had like a natural sense of, I just want to be me. I just want to do whatever I do, care whatever I care about, and share that and do it. And I never ever held back, and uh, they ate me alive in high school. <laughs> and it was a tough bunch of years, and I slowly was starting to be taught to hold all those things in, and I'm not enough, and who am I to ever try to go for these things, and I'm so much less than everybody else, and I would judge myself, and I would doubt myself, and I think that's something that, now that I'm older, um, I think that's something that everybody goes through a version of that. I think that's like everyday life, and for me, it doesn't, it's, it, it, it's never going to stop being a part of everyday life, I don't think, but it's how we manage it, and I think like, I'm not an expert on mental health. I know I have a sense of what my own <laughs> mental health goes through, but understanding how I feel and where I'm at is, a, is an important part of my life. And I've, because I've learned and I never gave up on just being who I am, I've been very, very fortunate to land in, uh, in certain jobs or opportunities or meet different people. And I've been very fortunate. I, I spent most of my career, so this is like an intro, this is who I am. I spent a lot of my career traveling around Newfoundland and Labrador to a lot of your communities. I did uh, Oceanet conferences, Youth in the Oceans conferences. Has anyone ever here ever been to one of those? Oh, there's some. <laughs> That's better than Grand Falls, Windsor. <laughs> But I loved it because I got to go around and speak to people. And someone who was terrified, always used to judging and doubting, to stand in front of all of you and let go of all that, those, those internal things, the judgment switch, all that stuff that keeps us, from hold, keeps us holding back, to let go of all that. And I've learned to trust it's okay to be nervous as shit. <laughs> and just move past it. And I've been very fortunate, and I now work at an organization called Students on Ice, where we take students from around the world on educational expeditions, two weeks in the Arctic, two weeks in the Antarctic, and it's an amazing, powerful experience. And it's, it's experiences like that have shown me how important mental health, mental wellness, understanding what your mental state is. We focus on our physical state and our diets and how our hair looks, but I mean, how we feel and how we are, we don't really, or how much time do we spend sharing and discerning what all that is. And I've been very fortunate to work with youth my whole career, and it's what I love. Um, I'm a type of person, I just believe we're all in this together. We're all in one room right now. Uh, I, I don't know all your names, but I love every one of you. Because we're, I just look at everyone as just in it together. And that's how I work, that's how I live, that's how I represent. And this weekend, the next 24 hours, we're all going to hang out together. We have the, an incredible opportunity. This is something newish, but it's something incredibly important. And it can be whatever you make it. So if I could extend a wish as the, I'm the MC, by the way. Uh, <laughs> if I could extend a wish, I'm not just some guy who ran and took the mic. <laughs> if I could extend a wish, it's that anytime you sense that you're holding back, do the opposite. This entire room is filled with people who came here to go to this conference because they wanted to. You're not surrounded by the mass of your classes or your communities where everyone is there. These are, right now you're around people who want very similar things and want to learn very similar things as you do. And that's incredibly, that's an amazingly special opportunity. And it doesn't happen all the time. And the goal here, one of the goal, some of the goals is to understand what this mental health, what mental health means, what it is to you, what it is to your community and your schools. But then how do you take some of the messages you're going to be learning and hearing about tomorrow and tonight, how do you bring that back? How do you make that last? How do you feel so freaking amazing this weekend and then go back and keep that going? Those are real questions and they can be challenging to answer, but you're not alone. And I'll, I, I'm going to chat with you guys tomorrow a little bit, but um, my goal is to take up about 10 minutes while stuff is getting ready. So what I'm going to do next, first of all, I just want to say Thanks for coming. Everyone give yourselves a big hand for coming, please. So
So, who we are and what we represent, why we are here. I'm waiting for the curtain to go up. <laughs> wow, I didn't know that was going to happen. As I mentioned, I didn't know, I didn't really mention this. You guys aren't all from the same place. You guys are all from all over Newfoundland and Labrador. We even have a student uh, or students, I can't remember if it's one or two, I think it's one, is here from Ontario. So you guys are from, <laughs> yeah. Is that the Ontario guy? Mainlander. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So the, the amazing crew that's helping put this together, the students and staff, they threw together this, here's who we are, and I took too long because it just went, but to give you a sense and what it looks like of what you guys are representing, there's our amazing province. I don't know if you love Newfoundland and Labrador, but I sure as hell do. And you guys are from all over. Take a moment. As you notice, Grand Falls Windsor is missing. <laughs> Does anyone see their hometown? I hope so. Ah, oh, you missed it. And where's the mainlander? Wait. Wait. Boom! <laughs> But here, that's, this is what we represent. It's an amazing opportunity. We got, we're representing the province and the opportunity for the future, and that's an amazing thing.